your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So today, you saw the title, we are here with a headband wig, but this is a human hair headband wig. And I'm actually pretty excited about it because it is a kinky curly, kinky coily texture. Y'all know that's my jam. So we're just gonna dive right in to this wig. So we are working with Y wigs today. And let me show you what I got. Right, we have the wig here. They gave your girl some wig caps. I know it's hard to see in the sun. They also have a return exchange form here. Let's take this bad boy out. Ooh, okay. Look at that, this texture. I love it, I love it, okay. And it definitely feels like a, I would say this, this feels like a 3C curl pattern, very tightly coiled, but still a little bit loose here. And of course you have the headband, which is like a, it's not cotton, it's like a smooth, silky kind of finish, and it's very stretchy. It is a Velcro headband here, so you can adjust it how you see fit. With this headband wig, there are three combs that you can use here in the front, and there is a comb in the back with the adjustable straps. Now let me show you the headbands that they provided. So they sent me over these headbands. These are the cotton headbands that crisscross over. I know someone was asking me about it in my um, last headband wig video. And so I have some for you to try on today. These brown ones. This leopard one is actually my favorite. So I'm just gonna start by putting this on. So the name of this wig is Ashley. Ashley is a kinky, curly, coily headband wig. The length that I have is 14 to 16 inches. The density is 150%. And the cap size is average. So let's toss Ashley on and see what she's looking like. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. Okay, and Ashley is on. <laughs> That's one thing I like about these headband wigs, like you literally just put them on the snap. Now, this texture is super, super defined, but I'm going to play with it a little bit. Let me toss on this headband. Now, for those of you who do suffer from hair loss or don't have a lot of edges, you can definitely wear these headbands to the front like this, and I think it'll look just as beautiful but i do want to show my edges but i just want to let you know that you are not left out anyone with any hair condition i think can wear these headband wigs oh okay so let me just start finger combing her through first just want to see what she's gonna be looking like wow okay <laughs> oh my goodness y'all look at this curl pattern this is so pretty i mean if you are a fan of it straight out the pack if you just run your fingers through it a bit you probably could wear it like this low key but um what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray it with water and then brush through it All right, so this is me checking in. I brushed out one side and this is, wow. This is mimicking natural hair amazingly. Okay. <laughs> I literally just spritzed water and brushed it out. That's all I did. Wow. Okay. I'll be back. I'm gonna do the other side. y'all so i am back <laughs> and i absolutely adore this this is looking like some 3c 4a hair like yo get the <laughs> get 
out of here. Come on, y'all can't tell me this isn't my hair. Y'all cannot tell me this is not my hair. What is this? All I did was just use my little spray bottle. And if you're interested in this spray bottle, it'll be linked down below. It's an Amazon link. I love it because it comes out long. It's a long press type of spray. I like that a lot. So check out the spray bottle. But y'all, okay, wild wigs. I see you out here. Putting on for the natural hair girls. Yes. I'm really feeling this, y'all. I am <laughs> excited. So let me just go into my pros and cons of the unit. And then I'm going to style her up a little bit. So keep on watching. First pro this unit absolutely is the texture. It feels super soft, very, very bouncy. And the fact that this human hair unit looks so freaking real is just so, it's just amazing to me. So I think they hit the nail on the head with the texture and mimicking type three, type four hair. I also do like the curl pattern. It pretty much curls to the root of the headband. So I think that's cool. I also like the fit of the headband. It is an average cap. And because it's more so like a half wig, I think this is able to fit on majority of head sizes. So that's nothing to worry about. I also really love the elastic strap back here. It feels very comfortable. Right now I have it. I wouldn't say it's the tightest it could be, so, but it's definitely comfortable. And I also love the length that I got this in. I think the 14 and 16 inches is so perfect on me. As far as the cons of this unit, the only thing I will say is really, I guess the headband choices because these other choices, I am not really feeling like that, but I'm gonna try them on for you. Somebody's gonna like them, but really, Amongst all, I really like this one the most. I like leopard animal print, so that's why. All right, so let's get to some styling. I'm gonna like do some like flip over action here. Let's see what that's looking like if I try to flip it over. Okay, so you can wear it flipped over if you want to. Yes, that's cute. That's really cute. Oh my God, all this Afro goodness. Oh, I'm obsessed. Yes, love it. Love, love, love it. Let me give you all a quick 360 so you can see what the back is looking like. So this is what it's looking like to the side. And this is the back. And this density is 150%, but it feels super full. I think if you like the way this looks here, you're good to go with 150%. This is looking really good. My hoops. All right, I'm back with my golden hoops. Yeah, this flipped over looks super, super cute. Let's switch out these headbands. This is cute. Like I said, you can still wear this, you know, if you don't have edges, right? You see me? I can wear this full forward. It still looks cute. This brown headband actually goes pretty nicely with my, oops, it actually goes pretty nicely with my mustard colored shirt. Tell me what you think about this so far in the comments because I'm here for it. This is so freaking pretty. Literally y'all, you can just wake up, just, you know, Velcro this headband wig on and pop on Zoom, straight like that. Like, hello, yes, I am present. If you have to go outside to work, literally this is a 60 second style tops. Like once you get the hair the way you want it, plop on and go, true plop on and go. So I am totally here for the ease of headband wigs. As much as I love a good lace front or frontal, this is just too easy not to wanna hop on. Get on the headband wig, y'all, stop playing. This is it. And then you could also pin this up, y'all, but you gotta be careful. Be careful with using the combs. I need to get a wrap that will pin up nicely. Oh my God, this looks crazy right now. But y'all see the pineapple vision. This is what I want. I want something like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous, y'all. Oh, also I have some other headbands here that I got from Amazon. These are different because they're a silk material, but I really, really like them. This green one looks really pretty with this. Let me see it real quick. So yeah, you see this green satin headband? 
It's super cute. I got this from Amazon, y'all. It came with 12 different colors in the pack, I think for like $12. It'll be linked down below. Ooh, and just like <laughs> natural hair, this thing absorbs moisture quickly, okay? I think you should just be mindful to treat this exactly like you would your natural hair. You should moisturize the hair. You should condition the hair, like definitely, because that's what I'm gonna do in order to upkeep this unit because this unit is absolutely beautiful and I wanna keep it in its optimal state. There was a little bit of shedding. I experienced that earlier, but it wasn't anything concerning. It shed the way my natural hair sheds. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so pretty. I love it. I love it with the green headband. Just make, just know that it's not covering this all the way, so you might have to go like that. This is super cute. Now the price of this headband wig for my specs, the 14 to 16 inch inches, is $169. Now, I know some of y'all clutched your pearls, but, but listen here, okay? This is a human hair wig, and it feels exactly like natural hair. The price to me does match up to the quality that you're getting. This hair is definitely high quality. I know some of you saw my other lookbook featuring a lot of affordable wigs with headbands, and those are all well and good. Trust me, I love those too. But just know that those wigs will not last you a very long time. Whereas if you want to invest in something that you know is going to last you for like a good year or longer, this is a wig that you should look into. I really don't like seeing people judge people for wanting to buy human hair headband wigs because some people just really like human hair. Some people cannot even rock synthetic hair. Some people are allergic to synthetic hair. I think people just need to be more mindful and just do what works best for them. Do what works best for your budget. I know for me, with my budget, because I love natural textured hair so much, this is something I would invest in. But that's me. Let me know if you feel the same down below. Hold on, wait a minute. I went downstairs to take some pictures outside and I started playing with the hair and I decided to put her up and she looks cute up like this. What do y'all think? I think this is really cute. Yes. Oh my God, this water bottle is so clutch. I love it. Get you one from Amazon. But yes, the half up, half down with this headband is super cute. I just had to come back and show y'all that. And then I could do a bun if I wanted to. Would y'all do a bun? Let me know which style y'all are feeling the most. Do you like it all the way down? Do you like like half up, half down? Or are you feeling this bun action I'm giving? Let your girl know. So yes, y'all, let me know how you are feeling about Miss Ashley by Y Wigs. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, come on, y'all. Is that your hair? <laughs> Is that your hair? Yes, ma'am, this is my hair. And no one can tell me differently. This bounce, this volume, I mean, this is just, uh, this is just everything to me. And I'm so happy that Y Wig sent me this to try out. Like, get a little closer, y'all. Get into this texture. Y'all see that, right? <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you're looking for more affordable human hair, Y Wigs is a company that offers that. If you check their website, you will see that their headband wigs are more affordable. And if you want to try human hair, especially a natural texture like this, get a shorter length. I would get a shorter length too. I would get this in a 10 inches and rock it because that's definitely what my natural hair would look like even more so. So I would try another length if you wanted to try this at a different price point. If you are interested in this unit, make sure you use the code Gladys. Yes, my name Gladys, G-W-L-A-D-Y-S in order to get money off. And I also like how she's looking now that she is almost fully dry. Like I know I wet her a lot in the video, but she dries down so nicely. Oh my goodness. And also if you're not interested in this particular style, Y Wigs has other headband wigs available. So I suggest you click the link down below and peruse the website and see what you find that looks good to you because their human hair is definitely on the more affordable end. If you are new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. And if you want to see me rocking more textured wigs, check out my textured wig playlist. It'll be linked in my description box. Shout out to Y Wigs for sponsoring this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and rocking with me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.